<laughs> yeah, you know, honestly, that's something I went up there and filmed about this time last year uh, up in New York. We did that and a little upstate New York. And man, I, you know, I thought that was a lot of fun. I've had, you know, some cool opportunities to go do a couple, you know, little TV shows from that take and deal, a little action show to, and we were shooting guns and blanks, shooting blank guns, but uh, then the Magnum PI thing. And then the crew, um, you know, getting to meet Kevin James, big fan of his, you know, I love the King of Queens. Um, really, really funny guy, just a, a great person. A lot of the writers on that show, I got to meet in the director and they did a good job of a really good job of getting a lot of, a lot of information before they started writing the show about, I think they do a really good job of what I saw of kind of how, uh, interiors of like kind of race shops work they asked a lot of questions they went to a lot of teams um and, and were really they weren't just winging it uh, i think they did a good job and, and you know it is a it's a sitcom you know it's it's a live audience sitcom um but i thought it was it was good you know it's it's a pretty light-hearted uh, show um that we were able to be a part of and, and cole custer is a part of it too another episode with me um but no i thought it was good you know i saw some people writing bad stuff about it um, some reporters writing bad stuff about it, and I didn't really agree with that. Um, you know, it's, it's supposed to be a lighthearted, funny sitcom show in front of a live audience, and um, I think they did good. They're not really trying to to make us look bad. They're just, you know, doing something that is is going to be, uh, you know, I thought really is, is I think it's really going to get people watching NASCAR. I mean, how many subscribers does Netflix have? And it's going to be a, a lot of episodes on that. So that that was a really good time meeting those people, talking to them. Uh, being able to kind of tell them what we do it was a shame you know in 2020 they were going to come out to the track and do some filming and then do some research as well and obviously that didn't happen with uh, with covid but um really cool experience uh, i hope that show does great i'm really looking forward to the when it starts coming out and you guys can watch episodes because it is really funny but at the same time it, it does get informative about the sport and uh, i think they do a really good mixture of those two how important is it to you even though it is a comedy for it to be authentic to what nascar is as, as a as a as a as an industry lifestyle whatever i think it's important you know you got to have a good mixture like you said i mean there's there's different types of of sports shows documentaries you know you have a, a drive to survive which was which was great and that was that's reality you know that's that's cameras being at the racetrack interviewing teams and stuff and you know with the crew it is a good mixture of, of, okay, they're not, you know, interviewing drivers and teams. It's just not that kind of show, you know, it's not that kind of, of show at all. So, uh, but like I said, it's just, it's not a strictly, they're not making fun of NASCAR by any means. They're not, they're trying, they're not trying to make fun of us. They are having fun with a really good show that is going to bring comedy to people and make people laugh. But at the same time, they're not making a mockery out of NASCAR. They did a good job of, of really doing their research and then, you know, sprinkling in details of kind of how a little bit of shop stuff works, um, you know, on the sponsorship side. And yeah, they might, you know, have some jokes in there, but it's, it's all in good fun. I, you know, don't get upset with it at all. Um, so I think they did a good job of, of combining all those things.